deployment was to predict the spectra of the so-called dark comet based on Argazon's emission model. How many of you obtained a result? The key is to recognize that the photon exchange equations imply an octonian solution space. Of course, they're not associative. No wonder I keep getting inconsistent results. I gave this as a homework just to show you that sometimes you have to dig deeper in your toolbox to find the right tool. It also shows that your hypercomplex analysis course wasn't a waste of time. Darn! I was hoping it actually was a waste of time and that we'd never have to see it again. It's like small joint submission moves. Just because they're not allowed in professional wrestling doesn't mean you won't need them someday. I want you all to take turns observing the comet. If you finish the homework, you understand how this comet's signature is separated from other visible wavelengths. So it won't be back for another 300 years? That's right. The last time the comet was visible from Earth was 1691. In fact, it's been suggested that the first case of lycanthropy may have been triggered by the dark radiation from the comet. A few fragments from the comet have been retrieved over the centuries for therapeutic use. The benefits are purely anecdotal, of course, but they suggest that the effects aren't necessarily deleterious. Oh, and I forgot to mention, the observatory will be closed tonight for Lucharama. I hear Mil Mascaris is coming to see you. Not just to see me. He's coming to deliver a short course on quantum informatics. Now, why don't you all queue up for the scope or something? wrong, headmistress. I have a meeting with Luke Tor this evening. With Luke Tor? Is that safe? Don't worry. He is not going to try anything blatant with me. I think he just wants to gauge my reaction to his attempt to take over the academy. And of course, I'm a bit interested in learning more of what he's planning. Oh, it looks like you two are running late. You enjoy the show. Okay, thank you. Good night. As you know, my trip to Europe has been very successful. Once I get control of the Wrestling Women's Academy, I'll be able to complete the biggest promotion deal in the history of wrestling. Well, I don't think Latorcia and the other wrestlers are gonna be very cooperative. That's why we'll have to terminate them. Will you be able to do that? I mean, their contracts? Contracts? Death is the quickest termination of any contract. Their services are no longer required. You mean you're gonna have them killed? The police will be on us like, like, like needles in a cactus. Imbecile, do you think that I, Luke Tor, haven't considered all of the possible details and contingencies? Tonight, all of our targets will be conveniently together like fish in a barrel. I've hired the finest assassin in the world, and while he's conducting his business, we'll be meeting with the headmistress of the academy. Our alibi will be airtight. But what if he gets caught? Moron! This is a true professional. He'll do whatever is necessary to protect his client.
you had him completely out on his feet. Yes. You could have used any finishing move in the book. The crowd would have loved to have seen him dropped with an aerial maneuver. As you said, he was out on his feet. I felt a simple roll to a pen was a more appropriate finish for that two-dimensional cartoon of a wrestler. That's my point. Nobody likes the guy. It would have been much more dramatic to watch you climb up the corner post, set your target, and then crush him to the mat! No, that's not my style. I'll leave the dramatic stuff to you. Good evening, headmistress. What is this? I thought this meeting concerned only the two of us. Oh, it does. Then explain the entourage. No offense, headmistress, but under the circumstances, I have legitimate concerns about my safety. I'm sure you understand. Yes, Luptor. I think I understand quite a bit. Have either of you seen La Torcha? I haven't. She usually doesn't arrive very early, but her match is scheduled to begin in less than 20 minutes. We're supposed to be in her corner, and we were afraid we wouldn't make it on time. There you are. Good evening. Were you delayed by security? Not much. I lost track of time checking the galleys of the paper that goes out tomorrow, and I had to pick up Mara. She promised me a front row seat because of all the things I help out with at the academy. Well, you certainly do a great job. You better hurry up and find your seat. You don't want to miss any of the match trying to find a security guard to have someone removed. You're right, but I could probably take care of something like that myself. No mas, no mas. Now it's too dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I better go. Bye, guys. I didn't want to mention this in front of Mara, but there's something you may need to know about your opponent. That's right. Medea is suspected of using some sort of paralytic toxin to disable her opponent. Mm, I'm aware of the rumors, but it's my understanding that the blood tests from her opponents haven't revealed anything. Well, just remember what happened to La Sombra while he was investigating that case in Japan. He was paralyzed for a week, and the toxin was never identified. Vigilance is my best ally. I'll be fine.
You may succeed in becoming majority shareholder, but you will only have limited governing control due to the constraints of the existing contracts. <laughs> we'll see what constraints exist when I take over. Will you please close your mouth when you chew? <sighs> Surprised to see us. What's wrong? There was an attempt on our lives at the arena. Oh, that's shocking. If you had anything to do with this, so help me. I assure you I'm as upset and concerned about this as you are. Is there a perpetrator in custody? No, there's nothing left of him. Well, that's too bad. I do not think we have anything further to discuss here. I would prefer if you and your associates were to leave now. As you wish. That disintegration suicide pill definitely suggests to me that this was no amateur. It's obvious he was a professional hired assassin. Maybe, but there's no way we can prove anything. We don't have a single lead to pursue. So, it's probably best to keep things as quiet as possible to avoid scaring the public. My concern is that there's another event at the arena this weekend. It's possible to patch some security holes, but zero risk is an unattainable limit. By the way, I understand Mil Maskris is visiting sometime soon. He's teaching a special short course on quantum informatics next week at the Academy. I haven't seen Maskris in several years. I look forward to getting the chance to discuss this case with him. Greetings, ladies. We have a very distinguished visitor, Baron Crater of Selenia, and his daughter, Nancy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Indeed. The Baron has traveled a great distance in hopes that we might accept his daughter into the academy. That is quite right. I realize that she lacks some of the prerequisites for admission to the academy. But I can assure you that she is most physically fit and very motivated to work hard. I am prepared to contribute a large sum of money to compensate the Academy for any additional resources that have to be applied to bring her up to the appropriate level of ability. So what brings you here for your training? My English no good? Yes. I I'm afraid she has not had the opportunity to travel much. So her exposure to other languages is rather limited. Well, that's OK. In here, what's important is how she communicates on the mat. Ah, uh, yes, uh, of course. Nancy obviously needs the benefit of your training and experience. 
But I am confident that she has great potential. I respect your high admission standards. I only hope that you will respect my desire to support my daughter in any way that I can. He was supposed to be the world's top assassin, and what did he do for me? Nothing except put us under the microscope. So I guess our plans for taking over the Academy are ruined. Idiot! Adaptability is the hallmark of intellect, and I have already made the appropriate strategic adjustments. The wrestling women certainly suspect that we were behind the events at the arena the other night, so they recognize the lengths we're willing to go in pursuit of our objectives. Now we can wield the sword of Damocles to intimidate them into surrender. So, what are your thoughts on the Baron's proposal? Her physical strength is fine, but it would take six months of individual training before she's ready to enter the program. I agree. And her transcripts indicate that she is lacking academically as well. In fact, her knowledge of mathematics and physics is commensurate with her poor language skills. However, the Baron's offer might provide the capital we need to thwart Lukter's efforts to control the Academy. Are you suggesting we admit her for that reason? I'm looking at all the options and interested in your opinion. It seems to me that our opposition to Luktor derives from our belief that he's willing to put financial considerations above the integrity of the sport and this academy. Would we really be any different if we accepted the Baron's proposal? When adherence to principle allows evil to prevail, principle must wait. Ah, Torcha. How much did you hear of our dilemma? Katrina told me about the Baron and his daughter, but it appears I've missed them. Yes, they left a few minutes ago. So, you think we should accept the daughter? As long as the motives are honorable, I don't see any reason to reject the Baron's offer. Excuse me. Hello? Ah, Mio. It's great to hear from you. I'm afraid I may be delayed a bit. I'll contact you as soon as I determine my exact itinerary. Okay? Okay. I'll look forward to hearing from you then. Bye. Bye. Anybody there? I recommend you not try anything. Now show yourself. Everyone is completely shocked and devastated by this at the Academy. I can imagine. This is the fifth random killing in recent days, almost certainly the work of street criminals who react violently when their robbery attempts are resisted. Were there signs of a robbery? Not really. She stayed late at the gym and apparently wasn't carrying anything of value. It could be that this aggravated her attacker. You said that the cause of death was a blow to the head, is that right? Yes. Uh, well, not really. 
What do you mean? I haven't been entirely forthright with you, Torcha. It was not a simple blow to the head. It was a penetration wound. What? Yes, and there's more. The coroner reports that her brain was fully extracted from her skull. That's crazy. I don't understand. Nor does he. He doesn't know what could have caused it, let alone a motive. All of the recent killings have exhibited the same unusual features. We have avoided releasing the details to the public in order to avoid creating a panic. It's best to let people blame things on the increase in street crime. Well, one thing is for sure. What's that? Common criminals don't steal brains. <laughs> they must be terrified. There's a rumor about the victim. Let me guess. Her brain was removed from her skull. Is that the rumor? Yes. I know exactly how she died. And she won't be the last until I get what I want. I would like to offer my deepest sympathies for your loss. I will, under the circumstances, understand if you wish to postpone our meeting. No. In fact, we were concerned about your reaction to this tragic event. My reaction? Yes. The murder of a student at the academy in which you wish to enroll your daughter. Ah, yes. Uh, of course. I, I must admit that I am very concerned about the circumstances surrounding the incident. Uh, was there... Anything unusual about the crime? Well, Early I... indication from the police suggests that it was a simple robbery gone bad. Ah, that is a great relief. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. I'm sorry if my expressions in English are sometimes awkward. I only meant that precautions can be taken to, to avoid street crime. I would fear for the general welfare here if, if there were evidence of a stalker or, or similar type of madman. I understand. We too would have such fears. Now as to the purpose of this meeting, I am pleased to inform you that we have decided to offer conditional acceptance of your daughter into the academy. That is wonderful news. I, I will inform her at once. Good day, Baron. You didn't tell him about the cause of death. That's right. The murderer almost certainly is a madman, whether it was Luke Tor or someone else. As a new arrival to the area, the Baron must be considered with some suspicion. However, he seemed to evoke genuine relief when he was led to believe that the murder was a random incident of street crime. In any event, the police wish to limit disclosure of details relating to the recent murders. You know, the police are treating her killing as being robbery related, but well, I'm just not satisfied with that explanation. Neither am I. And I felt like the police chief was holding something back during his press conference. My suspicion is that this is all part of a larger conspiracy involving Luke Dorr, and the police can't release information without compromising their investigation. If that is the case, then the risk to us is significantly greater than some random crime hypothesis would suggest. I agree. We should take appropriate measures at once. Ah, oh, real mascaris. I didn't realize you had arrived in town. Well, La Torcha told me you needed to speak to me urgently. That's true, but I hope you did not alter your itinerary on my account. I have the situation well in hand. Can you tell me about the situation? La Torcha only mentioned something about murders and stolen brains. That's true. We have five murders involving brain extraction. Here is a copy of the coroner's summary of the cases. Hmm. Do you have any theories? 
Our first hypothesis was that it might be the work of some cult. But there are no supporting signs of the ritual treatment of the victims. Exactly. And as you'll see in the coroner's summary, the mode of extraction was more surgical than ritualistic. Yes. Everything's cleanly removed down to the brainstem. And it was done through an opening of less than four centimeters in diameter. That implies that the instrument must have been actively controlled with great precision. Indeed, which led us to believe that it must have been performed by someone with advanced training in surgical techniques. Do you have a suspect? No. We contacted the local board of surgeons to inquire about specialists in the area of brain extraction. Did they provide any leads? Not exactly. They told us that to their knowledge, there was no defined procedure, let alone a haptically controlled instrument, for the peephole removal of brain matter. That's an important lead. In what respect? It implies that we are either looking for a deranged surgeon who has secretly developed his own method and apparatus, or... Or what? Or we are dealing with something that is outside the parameters of known criminology. I received your page. What is it? I was on Katrina's computer today to identify any future commitments that might need to be addressed. And I came across something interesting in her private calendar. What was it? She was scheduled to meet with Luke Tor at the time she was murdered. Luke Tor? What possible business could she have with him? I cannot imagine. She was aware of the sensitive relationship between Luke Tor and the Academy, so she should not have been meeting with him. Did you inform the police chief? No. I um, thought that, well, possibly I should discuss the information with you first. I would hate to unnecessarily involve the Academy's business in the investigation of these horrific murders. Yes, I understand. I'll check into it at once. Did you get the results? Yes, but there aren't enough points to establish any meaningful spatial statistics. Are there any topographical features that tie the locations of the victims? No, but the constrained geographic mean is right here. That's near Luke Tor's estate, isn't it? Uh, it's closer to the old Huerta mansion, but the points on only five samples put Luke Tor's house within half a standard deviation. Okay. Let's patrol that direction on parallel streets. You take Marino, I'll take Cruz Street. That's not possible. We just came from the scene of the attacker's last victim, and 
He escaped in the opposite direction across the cemetery. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, same type of wound. What do you mean? Um, I mean, I'm afraid I can't discuss those details. Look, what did your attacker look like? It appeared to be some sort of monster. A monster? Yes, it did not appear to be human. Could it have been a dog? Well, of course not. It was bipedal and engaged us in fight. Okay. Listen, ladies, we'll patrol the area. You have a nice night. steroid compounds for athletic performance enhancement. Stem cell injection for accelerated muscular enhancement. Newly discovered pituitary gland extract for super strength. In this paper, we show a heretofore unknown pituitary extract that has the capacity to produce super strength, speed, and agility in animal test subjects. The experiments suggest that similar results should hold for humans, but because of the number of pituitary glands that must be processed for each dose, it would be impossible to conduct human trials. Who's there? I've got a gun. I'll use it. the items that were disturbed and there's nothing missing then why the intrusion they're helpless and motivated by desperation nothing more what about him so she came in went through my desk and you let her leave she was quick and it, it was dark it was as dark for her as it was for you you know how I deal with failure Not with me. <laughs> oh, come here, my baby. Yes, I know. 
Colombian death spiders hate loud noises. Daddy is sorry. <laughs> Ah, Meal Mascaris, it is wonderful to see you. When did you arrive? Well, you know, I wired La Torcha my itinerary. I expected that she would have informed you. I attempted to visit her last night, but she wasn't in. I must apologize. Secure wire messages must be decoded and delivered from here under my supervision. Under the circumstances... Please, no apologies are necessary. I understand this has been a difficult time for you. Indeed it has. Lukdor has been trying to take over the Academy, and now he is a suspect in a series of horrific murders. I have some information that may shed some light on those killings. What kind of information? An old tag team partner of mine is head of the Interpol office in Prague, and he immediately recognized the modus operandi of the killer. There have been other murders of this grisly nature? Yes, in the country of Salinia. Salinia, where the Baron is from. Yes, that's right. That is extraordinary news. I am sure La Torcha will want to accompany you in an examination of the Baron's premises. I would prefer to avoid tipping off the Baron. La Torcha and I have well-known ties to law enforcement. We would like it less conspicuous. Okay. May I offer any assistance? Yes. I understand that the Baron has enrolled his daughter in the Academy. Is that right? Yes. Then would it be possible for one or two of your trusted personnel to facilitate same access to the Baron's residence? Of course. You remember Lorena and Elizabeth. They are willing and capable. Perfect. I'm telling you, this person or thing we saw last night must be connected to the killings. I certainly tend to trust your instincts implicitly, but in this case, the evidence is to the contrary. What do you mean? Ah, La Torcha. I was just getting ready to explain to Elizabeth and Lorena the state of the case. Then please continue, and I may be able to fill in a few of the details. A surveillance camera in a shop picked up Luktor's vehicle parking near the Academy around the time of Katrina's murder. Luktor? Yes, and there's more. The murders were committed by someone using a sophisticated medical device. I don't understand. You see, it hasn't been publicized, but in each of these murders, the victim's brains were removed. For what possible reason? I may be able to answer that. I paid a visit to Luktor's library last night, and among his papers was a report on the use of a pituitary extract that promotes superhuman physical strength. He may be using the extracted brain material from the victims to implement a horrific scheme inspired by that report. The results could be monstrous. This is a remarkable development. Yes, is this the Academy operator? I'm interested in speaking with my daughter, Nancy, uh, if she is free. Yes, this is he. Ah, yes, uh, thank you. In fact, I'm uh, calling to see whether Nancy will be done with her training in time for dinner this evening. Oh, oh I, I just assumed that she would be there. She... She's probably out shopping. I, I, I know that she was fascinated by the wide variety of consumer products on display in the windows downtown. Y yes, I, I would appreciate that. Uh, just let her know that I will be at the Restaurant Royale at 7 p.m. if she can make it. Uh, thank you. Recognize the address. It seems he's renting the old Huerta mansion. Do you know how long the first show lasts? 
No, why do you ask? Well, if they don't stay for the second show, they could be back within an hour from now. Ugh, we better not cut it close. It's going to be difficult to search. And we don't even know what the extractor might look like. I guess we'll just have to hope we recognize any clues when we see them. There's a storage shed or something outside. Is it a cistern? I don't know. The scrapes on that stone look recent. Ooh, I think we can recognize those as being clues. Let's take one back for analysis. Well, you have the bag for carrying it. <sighs> okay. Okay, I've got to wash my hands.
Nancy? This Kierkegaard neighbor. Yes, she explained the situation. Mil, Torcha, please come in. I assume you both know about the latest development? Yes, I spoke at length with Lorena and Elizabeth after they dropped off the evidence. The headmistress of the academy called me early this morning about the brains. I guess you would agree with me that this place is the Baron at the top of our list of suspects. It would seem so, but I can't say that I have a clear understanding of what his means or motive is. I understand that there's a link between the murders here and some similar ones in the Baron's country. Yes, those similar murders were the impetus for investigating the Baron. But I received some rather confusing information this morning from my contact at Interpol. Really? What kind of information? Apparently, the murders have continued since the date of the Baron's departure. None of this makes any sense. Chief. Yes. No, nothing would surprise me at this point. What? Are you sure? Bye. Something important? That was the coroner. He said that they weren't human brains. What? He says it's a cattle brain, and the preparation indicates that it was probably purchased as food grade. But why would they dispose of them in that manner? I don't know, but it looks like our basis for suspecting the Baron has largely evaporated. Greetings. I was left a message to meet with you about a matter of grave importance. Yes, I mean, I'm afraid it was a bit of a false alarm. A false alarm? I thought we had a break in the recent murders, but it didn't pan out that way. That is disappointing. But I, uh, I appreciate the fact that you wish to keep me informed about the case. Excuse me, Baron. Please let me introduce myself. I am Mil Mascaras. Of course you are. It is a great honor to meet you. Thank you. And this is La Torcha. From the Academy. An honor. Baron, I am curious. There are several excellent academies in Europe. Is there a particular reason why you chose to enroll your daughter here? I must admit that I did not extensively research the issue. Our decision to come here was based on a personal recommendation. A personal recommendation? Why, yes, a, a gentleman who visited my daughter's gym is apparently affiliated with the Academy here. I'm sure that you must be familiar with him. He goes under the name of Luktor. Luktor? Well, Torcha met with the police chief this morning. Mil Mascaris was there as well. Ah, oh, Mil Mascaris. I heard he was in town. No doubt he's investigating the recent killings. As indicated by Latorch's visit the other night, I'm certainly a suspect. There's one other thing. What's that? The Baron was called to join him. The Baron? Yeah. Have they discovered his secret? No, they seem to be completely baffled. <laughs> Good. The police may have been dismissive, of your story about a creature, but I put more stock in your judgment than I do in theirs. The question is, how to proceed? Well, we propose we stake out the area in which we saw the, whatever it was. I cannot allow the two of you to do it on your own. You were fortunate the other night, but it is just too dangerous to tempt fate again. 
Don't you worry. We'll have all the extra help we need. This case is evolving in a very unusual manner. I can only surmise that there are some additional variables that need to be teased apart before the picture is going to be clear. I agree. But the evidence seems to be pointed again to Luktor. That's right. We know he was in Selenia, so he has as much of a circumstantial tie to the murders there as the Baron. Could it be that he's using the Selenian murders as the templates for the ones here? For what reason? He may have wanted that we link the crimes. Hmm. Implicating the Baron. Assuming that he isn't targeting the Baron as a primary objective, there must be some alternative motivation. Intimidation is a possibility. But there seems to be nothing that links the other victims to the Academy. Nothing seems to be adding up. Then, hmm, we need to start over and recalculate our sums. Hey, thanks for the spot, Daddy. No change. Hey, no problem, no problem. Hey, what are you guys doing in here? The headmistress said we could get a workout in here. Oh, Mara. We have a question for you. What is it? Well, for this weekend's entrance, Dramatico here is thinking about the use of Tesla coil to cause bolts of electricity to arc from his body to the metal frame of the arena door. Wow, that sounds cool. I told you. You don't think so? He thinks it's overly theatrical. What are you doing here so late? Oh, I was looking for La Torta. I was watching the 10 o'clock news on the big TV in the lecture hall, and there was a teaser for a story about women wrestling. There was something interesting in the picture they showed. And when the researchers plotted the critical combination of strength, agility, and endurance against their physiological data, they were surprised to find that the maximum expected peak is more likely to be realized by a female than a male. The study was led by Professor Klaus Higginbotham, Picture there! At a Look behind him! Berlin. These results are expected to dramatically Isn't accelerate the talk? growing popularity. I believe you're right. And That's the kind tonight, of inside Dr. information Shibibera that would explain why Luktor is interested in gaining control of the Academy. Did you get hold of La Torcha or Mill? No, they both seem to have their phones turned off. That's strange. Then I guess we'll have to be on our own. We'll follow the same routes we did the other evening. Well, we're here. I hope I haven't taken advantage of your hospitality. Oh, of course not. Would you like to come in and sit down a while before you head back to your hotel? I think I'd like that. What happened? The creature from the other night. It tried to attack me, but I think I killed it. Where is it? It stumbled and collapsed in that brush. Do you see anything? Then you better come here! There was a monster, the one from the other night. I never saw this woman. Maybe she got hit by some stray stars. No, I know that I didn't hit her. Well, just look around. I know I saw the monster fall somewhere here. Well, it, it is possible with the slow light. No, what I hit was not human. It's Katrina. The coroner has just completed his preliminary analysis of the body. He's confirmed that it's that of Katrina. He places the time of death as being less than two hours ago. That is amazing. Does he have an explanation? I'm afraid not. A cranial examination reveals that the missing brainstem has now regrown. He now believes that it was originally removed by some sort of living creature who left trace amounts of protein growth factors after consuming it. L like certain carnivorous insects? 
You're asking the wrong person about that. Why have you asked me to be here? The coroner is very young, straight out of school. He's a very bright fellow, but he's lacking in real world experience. Here, take a look at this brain sample. There's an exaggerated mitochondrial presence in the cells. And there's conclusive evidence that primitive RNA mechanisms have been definitely activated. Did you run a Helsing scan? Yes, but the results were negative for lycanthropy, vampirism, and all other known forms of the undead. Ah, I noticed that the Kung Fu stars were made of stainless steel, not silver. The undead are not killed so easily. Here. Take a look at this one. These cells look almost normal. They were taken from around one of the wounds. So the transformational process was not complete. Which is fortunate, because there's no telling what it might take to kill a fully transformed one. We need to dig deeper into our toolbox. There's one thing I know for sure. What's that? I've never encountered any form of the undead that could withstand fire. We rushed right over when we heard. What's the latest? The coroner has confirmed that the creature that was killed this evening was, in fact, Katrina. How can that be? I don't know, but we're definitely dealing with something beyond any known science. In what sense? She was apparently a new form of the undead. Undead? So what's happened to Katrina has almost certainly happened to the other victims. Oh, no. What is it? Mara. She left the gym when we came over here. She cuts through near the south side of the cemetery on her way home. Come on, let's go. Elizabeth. Lorena's had quite a shock. Why don't you take her back to the academy and let the headmistress know what's happening? Okay, I'm on it. Is there something wrong, sir? I have some business to attend to. Stay here with the men. Let them enjoy themselves. Things may heat up soon. Are you sure you don't want to take someone with you? I need to talk to the Baron alone. Stay here in case I need an alibi. If any problem arises, I'll signal you. The police have been all over the area near the cemetery. It's probably another killing. How comforting. What? There's no safer time to take a stroll than when the police are mobilized. How does Mauro get through here? She usually comes through here. We should be able to catch up with her. Look at that. There are probably others who have dug themselves out. There's great danger here. Mara would probably cut somewhere through here. If we could find a path. There's no time for that. We need to locate her now. Mara! Are you here? I'm here. Are you okay? Something was chasing me. I swear, it looked like a monster or something. You weren't imagining it. We need to get out of here. Mill, over there. This way. Ah! 
Block! Hold him off! Those are coming! Uh. Got it! Okay, everyone in! going to break through eventually. Here, look. Yes. I think we can do it. Okay. Then we'll have to draw them in and break for it. I'll take your read on this. It's clear. You're going to need to follow Mel, okay? Do whatever he says. What's going to happen? The creatures are going to be drawn through the door, allowing for a safe break from the back while they're bottlenecked here. Why do I have to go with Mill? What's going to happen to you? Someone has to establish interference to allow for a safe escape. It's not fair! Why do you have to do it? In the movies, they they draw straws or something. Decisions are based on reason rather than chance. Under the circumstances, I'm the logical choice. Ah, oh, Baron. I'm sorry that we've not had a chance to meet since you arrived. I'm sorry as well, but I'm afraid that this is not a good time. Why is there something wrong? Maybe I can be of assistance. No, I don't think that anyone can help me now. It must be a heavy burden. All those innocent lives lost. What do you know about that? I've known everything all along. How can that be? And, and you let it continue? As long as it served my needs. It's ready to go. How much time do we have? The hinges are loosening. They'll be through any minute. I won't be doing any climbing or lifting. What's happening? Logical will be taking them now. I estimate that it will take 20 to 25 seconds to reach the north wall. Is that right? Give us the 25. Hurry. Move quickly.
Kyoko. He might be coming. We're safe, so he accomplished his mission. Now we have to finish our mission and make sure none of those things escape. It appears all of the monsters have been destroyed. Not all of them. What do you mean? The progenitor of those things still lives. I suspect that this curse was brought here by the Baron. Let's go. I came here so that Nancy and I could start a new life. You knew my secret, and, and yet you exploited it to serve your evil ends. <laughs> I make sure I'm always in control. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> Mil Masteris, Latorcha. I understand now why Luther called us in. It's time we even the odds. Time for me to teach you some manners. Let's go. Mil, with Torcha, it's time to die. I got this. Go get the Baron. She's dead. Luctor must have used silver bullets. This is all my fault. What is your fault? A year ago, Nancy injured her back. The doctors said that she would never wrestle again. I used my wealth and social status to have her treated by the healing powers of the Dark Comet. The side effect was a hunger for brains that transformed her into a most hideous and horrible creature. I had hoped that by offering her cattle brains that, that she could resist the compulsions. If I had known the true nature of the murders, I would have done what 
whatever was necessary to prevent further ones. Keep an eye on them. I don't want them taking any suicide pills. To protect Luptor? You've got to be kidding. I am so sorry to hear about Lachiko. To me, he's just passed from life to legend. <laughs> of course, he would cringe at such sentiment, but it's what he'd expect from me. Neil, LaTorcha tells me that you will be flying out shortly. Oh, she must have overheard when I received the call. I've been asked to assist in the extermination of the creatures in Salinia. A helicopter will be transporting me from my hotel to the nearest airport at 5 a.m. That is less than an hour from now. I know that LaTorcha and everyone else here at the Academy will be disappointed that you will not be staying a bit longer. But we certainly understand. I had hoped to speak with La Torcha before I leave. But, well, I guess I must be leaving. I just couldn't let you leave. I never wanted to leave.
pay for this. Every last one of them will pay for this. With Lukter out of the way, I'll soon be running the show. <laughs> <laughs>